I'm not surprised at all because I've seen him um, close at hand out, you know, what a professional he is. You know, first of all, he's got natural talent, he's got an ability which, um, you know, I've not seen before. And together with hard work and professionalism, you can, you can achieve anything, and he is. Cristiano Ronaldo is the ultimate professional. Strict, hardworking, determined. He's a cyborg. As it happens, Ryan Giggs played a role in CR7's journey to excellence. The Welshman even had to use force to make him understand a few things. Once, he even flattened him to the wall. Ryan Giggs watched Cristiano Ronaldo grow up. He saw CR7 evolve in his approach as a player, wanting to be perfect. But CR7 was not always perfect, especially when he first started at Manchester United. One morning, Ryan Giggs even held Ronaldo against a wall. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, a Manchester United player before becoming their coach, revealed an incredible story in August 2016. One morning, Cristiano Ronaldo came to breakfast holding a Coca-Cola. Giggs pushed him up against a wall and said to him, don't ever do that again. Wow, Giggs had a really kind approach to educating 18 and 19 year old players. Do you know how Ronaldo reacted? Like that, and that, and even that. Wait, what, really, are you sure? I'm just hearing in my ear that CR7 didn't cry at all. It was exactly the opposite. Cristiano really took charge of his nutritional levels. Obviamente, no, nada es por coincidencia. Yes, Cristiano, we know. Talent is worthless if you don't work hard, blah, blah, blah. Have you ever thought about changing the record? In short, he followed Giggs' ban. He left soda behind him and adopted a more balanced diet. He even follows a very strict diet to this day. I eat a high protein diet with lots of carbs, fruit, and vegetables and avoid sugary foods. I sometimes eat up to six smaller meals a day to make sure I have enough energy to perform each session at top level. His altercation with Ryan Giggs wasn't his only one. At the time, Manchester United locker room was definitely one of the toughest out there. When I think back, we really were a tough locker room. He had to be strong, but I think that shaped him. He walked around with his chest stuck out. He looked at us straight in the eyes. He had a lot of self-confidence. We said to ourselves, who is this guy? His early appearances on the pitch were also more complicated than CR7 imagined they would be. You would never have thought that he would become one of the best strikers in history. You really wouldn't. After Cristiano's first match, Giggs wasn't very optimistic. In his first match against Bolton, he entertained the crowd with his skills, but then there was the diving, the frustration. He didn't know when to pass the ball, when to keep it. He dribbled too much, too many dives. His beginnings were pretty difficult in the end. You see, I wasn't lying when I talked about his diving. Anyway, the Portuguese player was tough. He hung on. He worked hard and gave up on Coca-Cola and the distractions which could have stopped him from shining. He's, you know, when you think that, you know, his, his standards are dropping, he'll go and score a hat-trick or something. So he's just a world-class player, you know, one of the best players that's ever been. Eventually, his five-season spell at Manchester United under the guidance of Sir Alex Ferguson and some other top players was really beneficial for him. I really miss uh, English football. For me, it was uh, one of the best years in my career when I was there in, uh, in Manchester United. Everyone know that. Manchester United were his launch pad. And today, he stands alone on his very own planet. A planet for cyborgs. <laughs>